Here's a few reasons why it's so hard for you to fall asleep at night. One, you use your bedroom as a multi-purpose room. This isn't going to be too much of an obvious one, but if you eat, sleep, study, and do all these different other activities in that same room, it's going to be very, very hard for you to fall asleep because that whole room is associated with all these different things. It's like you trying to be friends with your ex. You thought you could do it, but really more often than not, the lines get blurred. Second thing, you exercise before you go to bed. Exercise is an activity that stimulates you. And if you try to fall asleep right after hitting the gym or going for a run, you're gonna find it very, very difficult. The chances are you're probably gonna be lying in bed, staring at the ceiling, wondering what's the meaning of life instead of drifting off to sleep. So a solution to this would be to do your physical activity during the morning or the afternoon so that by the time it's the end of the day, your body is in a restful state so you can prepare yourself to go to bed. Number three, you vary your sleep times. If you don't have a consistent wake up time and sleep time, then your body's gonna find it very, very difficult to figure out what time is it appropriate for you to start feeling sleepy and start feeling tired so you can go to bed. Varying bedtimes is a little bit like being in an on and off relationship. You're both kind of really uncommitted. Sometimes you're on, sometimes you're you're off and it's just pretty much all over the place. So you kind of can't really figure out what's going on. So if you can, try your best to sleep at the same time every day and wake up at the same time every day as well. Four, being mentally active before bed. The mind often struggles to adapt to abrupt changes. Picture this, it's the end of the day and you ended up finishing work pretty late. You've had a pressing deadline and you just had to get this work done. You shut your laptop, you get up and you start walking slowly towards your bedroom. You enter your room, you walk towards your bed, you pull back the covers, you jump in bed. So you lie down, but you remain there for some reason, unable to fall asleep. You see, you might have physically moved your body to bed, but you haven't started putting your mind to sleep. Sleep is a relaxing and quiet activity. So your body needs relaxing and quiet activities to be done in order for your mind and your body to be prepared to go to bed. A few examples are light reading, meditation, taking a relaxing bath, or listening to calm music. Give one of them a go before you go to bed tonight. These things help relax you and prepare you to fall asleep. Having coffee late in the afternoon or at night. Now this may seem like a really, really obvious one, but I feel like it's still important to mention that the half-life of caffeine is about five hours. We really underestimate the effects of caffeine on our body. If caffeine is still in your body while you're trying to fall asleep, you are either one, not going to be able to fall asleep or two, going to have a very unrestful sleep. So try not to have caffeine too late in the afternoon so you can get some well-deserved sleep. If you want more health tips and things that you can do to improve your routine during the day, have a watch this video over here. Otherwise, thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Catch you later, bye.